Do you know, it's the 6th of July, 2018, and it must be a good 30 degrees outside. But you know what? I shouldn't complain, because it's definitely a nice feeling when the sun's shining. It is absolutely glorious out there. So anyway, I don't want to exert myself today. All we're going to do is change the battery on a Mark V Mondeo 2 litre diesel. So the first thing you want to do is remove the front bumper. Oh, come on! <laughs> of course, I am only joking. I'm actually fitting a new turbo intercooler to this car because the driver smashed it off. But as soon as I put this front end back together, I'll change the battery so you can see how it's done. There is a gap between your battery and your airbox. Seriously, don't even think about it because it will be a struggle trying to get that battery out at an angle. Don't do it. <laughs> There's a wiring loom on your airbox. Just unclip it. The clips will probably break, but whatever. And pull your wiring connector off your airbox. Jubilee clip on your air intake pipe. Loosen that clip and pull your air intake pipe off. Two seven mil screws or little bolts. Take them right out. You can now literally get hold of your airbox and just pull it up and the whole thing will just lift clean out. There's an earth lead by the side of the battery. 11 mil deep socket, just remove it. There will not be any sparks when you remove this earth lead. So don't worry about taking it off. Perfectly fine. Just move it out of the way. The wiring loom is going to be clipped in to the battery tray. Just get a trim tool and unclip that wiring. One other clip to the side of the battery tray. It would help if you just remove that as well. So the wiring's all free and you can tuck it underneath the battery tray. 8 mil bolt holding the battery clamp down. Waz that right out. You can now just grab the whole battery and slide it forward. Lift your positive battery terminal cover out of the way. One 10 mil to the side. You've only got to loosen it and then you can just wriggle it off. The earth lead on the battery, there's a little 10 mil at the top. Once again just loosen it a few turns and then just wriggle the battery terminal off. You can then get your battery by the two handles that will lift up and lift it straight out. The cover around this battery just lifts straight off. Just note here, this is a 70 amp hour, 720 amp battery. Just take into consideration, this is the base model Mark V Mondeo 2 litre diesel. So for different model Mondeos or higher spec Mondeos, there is a very high chance they'll have a higher ampage battery. Anyway, what the frig? I'm only changing this battery to show you how it's done. I don't actually need to change it. So now I've got to put it back. <laughs> Stick your little tea cozy over the battery to start with. And then just slide it back onto the battery tray. You can stick your live lead back on. Just wriggle it on, make sure it's a good contact. And whack that 10 mil nut up nice and tight. Pop your rubber boot over the top of the terminal. Pop your earth lead back on, make sure you wriggle it on and it's on properly. Then whack that 10 mil up nice and tight again. And then you can just slide that whole battery right back as far as it will go. Pop your battery clamp and bolt back on, whack that down. Pop your wiring loom clips back into their respective holes. 11 mil deep socket again. Make sure you get that started on the threads and don't cross thread it. And then whack that down nice and tight. There are two lugs at the bottom of the air box. They will locate straight into grommets. So when we put the air box back, keep an eye that they're going into these grommets. So you can lower that air box straight back in. Pop your two seven mil bolts back into the air box intake pipe and whack them both down nice and tight. Connect your wiring harness back up to your air sensor. If the clips aren't broke, you can pop them back into the holes they come out of. If they are broke, you can probably cable tie it back on somehow. And then pop your air intake pipe back on. And then you can tighten down that Jubilee clip. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Tell you what though, it feels like freaking 40 degrees in here. <sighs> Look at the freaking sweat on my forehead. Once the battery's been disconnected, I've never had to reset a radio code or reset the one-touch windows. They just work again, which is fantastic because that's less crap to deal with. Well, that's it. Done. 
I'm going to make a cup of tea now. See ya.